I want to do another special preview today. So usually, as you might have noticed, I or we together decided that we only want to show you features that are basically done, that are available today, and not so much speculate about the future, that everything might be awesome in the future. We will talk like others might do. We basically only talk about stuff that's available today. But here I want to make a little bit of an, of an exception and talk about a very cool feature, in my opinion. Um, and this is called um, Nextcloud Flow. And this is actually a new uh, workflow component. So we're introducing a workflow tool um, in Nextcloud, which is very powerful and flexible. And there are some, some use cases. I want to go through some use cases for now. So maybe, maybe you want to automatically create a PDF based on a file that's uploaded. Or maybe you want to get a push notification every time your colleague changes a specific Excel file. Or maybe you want to uh, send a message into a specific talk channel every time a specific file is like renamed or whatever, something happens. Or you want to call an external script. In a lot of organizations, you have external scripts for some data analysis or other things. You can call, uh, call this automatically if something specific happens. Or you create like a, an entry in the deck app, like you know, it's a project management tool we have, or a calendar entry, or you start a full approval workflow if something specific happens, like a vacation request in a specific folder or something. So lots of use cases that are very popular where you can do a lot of automation there. And uh, it actually looks like that. I think our, our UI team uh, made a really good job with working on that. So the first thing you see is this nice overview of actions, of things that happen. You can first decide, I want to have a notification or a mail or some other thing that might happen. And you select this. And the second thing you do after that, you define the conditions. I don't know if it's easy to see, not really. But you can define basically when those actions happen. You can say, OK, when someone of this LDAP group uh, touches a file that is tagged with this tag uh, at that time from that device um, in that folder, then do something. There are a lot of complex rules that you can define. And here you can see there are already a few rules. There's the green, red, and blue. There are three different rules already. Um, and this can be defined as an administrator or also by an individual user. So a user can model their, their workflows or an administrator can also define it. And I'm really happy that this is not just a preview that we plan to do, but this actually exists already today. So if you want to test this, you can test this today. And we have on our download page a link to uh, what we call the daily master. This is a daily build of our main development branch. You can go there and you can test this out already today. Um, And it will be part of the next release, Nextcloud 18, that comes out um, later. Um, this will be final there, but this is already working today. Um, and I hope that um, some of you might be motivated to implement more actions or come up with new ideas and new conditions to make this even more useful. And I know that there is a, um, another talk, a workshop about this later today, where you can learn more how this works and how you can extend the system. And I think it can be just super, super powerful and really productive for a lot of organizations.